Huh. I don't know. I do that. You switch hard. Switch Harden for Davis on that team and line up Davis with Dwight Howard. And you would make you make the Davis play you make Davis play power forward. Or even move Dwight to the to the spot he should be playing in power forward. And see what what the difference would be. James Harden's gonna score no matter who he plays for. Mm -hmm. Because he's gonna take all the shots anyway, because that's what he does. Yeah. But I think I just think Anthony Davis does, does so much more than James Harden, his wife. Oh yeah, hey, um, Gentry putting the pressure on him too. The, uh, um, on, on the Pelicans, he 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 is expecting them to make playoffs and then make a run. So, um, I mean, he probably say that they will win a championship. I, I mean, I, that's kind of bold to say that. Early. You have to you have to give Davis somebody else. You have to give him somebody else. You have to give him another superstar. You give him another superstar, I think they'll be fine. Well, they got Gordon, Evans, Ashton, Pondester, Ryan Anderson. Give him another superstar. Drew Holiday, Norris Cole is his uh, is his core right now. Yeah, you have you have a lot of you have a lot of of pieces, but you don't have. Achoo! Holy shit. Bless you. Yeah, thank you. But you don't have that dude that could go along with, with Davis. Mm -hmm. You need another that dude. Gotcha. As we can see, as you can see in the league, you need another that dude. Oh, yeah. To be, to be good and, in uh, the league. And I think, yeah, hey, I, I, if he if he makes another playoff bird fair, and some, some uh, second-tier superstar going to be paying attention. I'm like, I want to play with that guy. If they're not already oh, yeah. paying attention. Well, he's already made enough to where people are going to go, I want to play with that guy. <laughs> yeah, and then he already has signed a season with the Pelicans, so uh, he's going to be with Pelicans for another five years. So, Yeah, he'll be there. I think, he'll, I think he's one of them guys that will be there for his entire, his entire career. He seems like one of those guys, yeah. And that's New Orleans moves again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully for their sake they don't. Yeah, no. Good city to play Everybody in, so. in that division that's going to the playoffs. Yeah, I about to ask the question. So you say everybody's going to the playoffs? I think everybody in that damn division is going to the playoffs. I think four. I don't think the Dallas will make it. Oh, da yeah, I forgot Dallas is Dallas. Dallas, especially with their off season that they had with with Jordan. Yeah. If Jordan would have went to Dallas, wow. Yeah. That division would have been that division would have been stacked, and I think deep down that's one of the reasons Jordan didn't go. To that division, yeah, or to Dallas. I think that's a big reason why, because you got to think all those, those guys are getting older. Dirk definitely getting older. Dirk's their main guy. Uh huh. And then you got Chandler Parsons who don't play defense. You would have been the only guy really playing defense on that team. And they lost Monte Ellis to the uh, Pacers. So that, I mean, so I mean, so there, there, there was a lot of changes. I, I think there was a lot more reading into why he didn't go to Dallas than than meets the eye. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I know they added Darren Williams and Wesley Matthews, but besides that, and Chandler Parsons, there's just really nothing that really stands out yeah. um, about this team. So, I, I, I think, I mean, unless Darren Williams come back to old form, which I doubt. If this would have been, if this would have been three or four years ago, he probably would have went because Dirk would have been three or four years younger. Oh yeah. But then, but, but now I. If that played, I think that played a big role, and especially with the division and everything that they're in, on why he didn't go. Does he really want to go bang against Aldridge and Duncan and, yeah, yeah. and Dwight? Does he really want to go bang with them all the time instead of just some of the time? And I think that was a, that's a real big reason why he went back. Yeah, you're right. You play these teams four times out of the exactly. year. Each, so I mean, yeah, you're right. Take a lot of toll on your body and. He was, once he once he got that once he got people starting talking to him, he was like, you know what? I really don't want to deal with that. I don't have to deal with that if I go back to L.A. All I gotta do is just catch lobs and get rebounds. Exactly. And block shots. You don't know what you got until you start leaving. Yep. Totally agree. All right. You need to take a break, or you want to hop in the east? I'm good, man. I'm just driving. Cool, man. All right. Well, we'll keep. It ain't, it. Like, I, it ain't like I gotta go to the potty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep this bad boy moving and move on over to I'm the... Some, all I know is I'm going to need some orange juice when I get to the house. <laughs> hey, I'm going to steal some orange juice. 
some orange juice. I go saw the it. orange juice. Go for I it. I don't man. get sick. There you go. Go for it, man. Uh, depending on depending on what you add to the orange juice. <laughs> uh, remember, the time, remember, remember the only time me and you were around orange juice and liquor. Remember what happened? Yeah. That's all I got to say. Yeah, that, that was. Nobody uh, got any orange juice. Or <laughs> any liquor. Uh, oh. That's funny. All right, let's move to the East, and um, we're going to discuss the Atlanta Division. Uh, of course, this team consists of the Raptors, the Knicks, the 76ers, the Celtics, and the Nets. Uh, Holy fuck. <laughs> here, 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 here's a trick question for you, and I already know you're not going to like my answer, but uh, which team do you see in this division that is on the rise? You better not say the Knicks. If you say the Knicks, you need to shoot yourself. Call me crazy, man, but I think it's the Knicks. And it ain't, and it ain't the 76ers because, oh, lo and behold, the guy they picked and I said, don't nobody pick because he ain't going to play for like three years. Guess what? He's not playing again. Oh, Embiid. <laughs> Embiid was the stupidest draft pick ever. Embiid is right up there with drafting flipping Greg Oden. Mm-hmm. He's right up there with drafting Greg Oden. And it's going to continue to be that way. I got an argument over the Sixers fan about that shit. I'm like, there's a reason why you just picked Okafor. I was like, because you need to collect big men. Because all your big men are hurt. <laughs> he was like, how did MB set us back? Mm, I don't know. Maybe because you could have got somebody else. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe yeah, man. I would have picked somebody else. Yeah. I, but, uh, yeah I, I, it, 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 that, that's just it's a bad division. It's bad. I mean... The Raptors is already. I mean, this is how I look at it. The Raptors are already going to be solid. They're 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 going to win the playoff division. Uh, they're they're going to win. They're going to win that division because the damn division is so damn bad. I, the the uh, Celtics. I, I know they made the playoff last year. I think they just got hot. And they I, don't make it this year. I don't think they, they make got, it this year. The reason they made it last year is because the Heat got hurt. That's the reason they made it last year. The the Nets, to me, no. And then the Seventy Sixers, of course, not. <laughs> now, <laughs> no. And so then, then this is this is why I'm gonna say the Knicks. I don't think they make the playoffs, but I think they do make some improvements. Uh, this is why I think because they okay they didn't sign Marcus Saul and Marcus Aldridge, but they did pick up some solid pieces in the free agents. They pick up Aaron Afalo, Kyle Quinn, Robin Lopez, uh, everybody who booed Prozingis actually like a solid NBA player, uh, which is happened not to be a bad choice. He had a solid summer league and had a solid preseason too. That now he is in the starting lineup. And I love the Jerry and Grant pick too. That's uh, Harvey's Grant they had son. No choice. <laughs> yeah, and then they yeah, they had no choice. But the uh, Jerry and Grant pick, uh, Harvey's Grant, Horace Grant's nephew, uh, oh. is looking looking pretty solid off the bench. So uh, this That's is a shame we can't even say Harvey Grant's son because no one knows no one Harvey knows Grant. no one knows Harvey, but they know who Horns is. So that's why I said that. Uh, He's Horace Grant's nephew. <laughs> Ain't that Harvey's son? Yeah. Who's Harvey? Who's Harvey? Harvey. Like, they look just alike. You know they play. He played basketball in NBA too. So, I'm, but yeah, I'm like, holy shit. But I, I just think you know, they they have. Have you ever seen a Harvey Grant basketball card that it says Harvey Grant and it's actually Horace Grant? I yeah, there's a Harvey Grant basketball card, and the guy on the picture's horse. <laughs> wow, I guess I uh, shit you not. Someone must have got fired that day. Didn't know. I went, I went, I went, why is Horace Grant on this card? <laughs> I was like, oh. Like, oops. But, yeah, I, I mean, I don't what think. They got Jersey wrong on this shit. That's what was funny. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. Or they had a card with both of them on it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember that one. They had a card with both of them on it. <laughs> Wait. Amazing. But I okay, like, enough for my Harvey and Horace. Nah, story. it's it's funny, man. Nah, it's all good. But I just think with them, you know, they 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 did make some pieces Grant, for him. So. Horace, Horace Grant was one of my favorite players. Yeah, the goggles. <laughs> I loved Horace Grant. Hey, I love him too, Bush, man. Magic. I I I, I love Horace Grant. He's one of those guys, man, that just come and did the dirty work. So I, I can always pre- appreciate that. But he was a, he was a pounder and mm-hmm. he was a baller and he was a, he was a <laughs> blue collar guy. And that's what I like about Grant. They're, they're his nephew. I know we can't say Harvey's son. Uh, he's, he's, he's one of those guys, man, that, you know, he, he does a really good job in distributing the ball from the point guard position. So uh, he's going back up Calderon. And I think New York's going to be solid, uh, better than what they was, you know. So 
Uh, I, I know Anything Kevin. I know. Could be better than what they was. Yeah, I mean, as long as Carmelo doesn't quit on the team and and uh, you know, start. Oh, I'm gonna go play the All Star, but I'm gonna sit out the rest of the season. As long as he played this well, team, they're definitely uh, pretty solid. So don't, don't get don't get me started on Carmelo. I I, I won't. I won't. So uh, shit. Uh, now, I wonder how much weight he gained over the off season. I mean, I know we're obviously gonna agree on the top rookie. I think it's Okafor. So uh, you want to discuss Okafor. a little bit? What do you say? Okafor. Ukrafer, so Ukrafer. you want to talk a little bit about his game at all, or what you see? I <laughs> um, um, I can't really blame Sammy Sixers for picking him up when he fell to three. I didn't think he was gonna fall that far. I thought for sure he was gonna go to the Lakers, but as you started hearing that the draft kept going on, they was going to pick Russell. Um, but even at the beginning of last year, before the season started, he was considered the top pick and. Uh, he did put out a summer league with an array of post moves and rebound the ball pretty solid. And uh, the, the one not going on him, he just got to get back. He got to get in better shape and then mold himself into a yeah. better defensive player. Uh, yeah. Having Noel back him up for now should help. But once again, it's going to be another cold winter in Philly, at least basketball wise. Uh, maybe football wise too. I don't know. So, <laughs> so uh, I, I think that's the guy to kind of keep an eye on. Who's got worse knees? <laughs> yeah. Northern is no help or Sam Bradford. Oh my gosh, that's nice. <laughs> that, that that brotherly love in Philly, huh? So I think Prozingis is, is going to be an interesting rookie to watch in this division too. So, but I think Okafor is going to take it away. He's going to have a lot of opportunities. I, I know the guy dropped his jersey at his press conference and it's kind of he's like, eh. yeah. so uh, yeah, that that was kind of rude. But I still think he's one heck of a player, and he just. Uh, well, he doesn't do on the defense side of the ball. He does pretty pretty darn well on the other side of the ball on the offense side. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he does with that mess they got in Philly as far as them drafting center after center after center every year. <laughs> center. Uh, who are we picking this year? Let's pick a center. All right. Who are your possible playoff teams in this division? Toronto. I'm, with, I'm with you. I'm, I'm just choosing Toronto. Uh, Celtics has a possible chance. I just think they're going to cool off. I don't think they're going to make it. So, uh, But they definitely are in a run. They, Brad Stevens won hell of a coach, man. I give him that. But, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, that, that time, I think they just overachieved last year and, and I got to the playoffs. Well, they got they got a lot of help last year, too. Yeah. <laughs> they did. So, <laughs> All right. Uh, let's move on to the Central Division. Um Probably going to be one of the better competition in the East here as far as here. Uh, you got the Bucks, the Bulls, the Cavaliers, the Pistons, and the Pacers. Um, now, you got Fred Hoiberg, Jason Kidd, David Blatt, Stan Van Gundy, and Frank Vogel. Uh, which coach will you, are you rocking with in this division? Uh, really? <laughs> really? Really? I'll take one of them. I'll take a stab at it. Blatt? <laughs> No. He 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 do do. Uh, I like Van Gundy, but he's what he can do with the Pistons. Mm-hmm. I, I I'll go with Stan. You go with Stan. Okay. Yeah, I'll go. With Stan. I like his mustache. <laughs> Did you see the uh, the Twitter picture with him in his hat? They talking about like Stan Van Gundy's gonna make a mistake. Thug life. Yeah, thug life. He, yeah. He's gonna make a new mixtape. Oh man, with the with the uh, fitted hat on, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I was like, damn. I was like, Stan looking like. Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy and Frank. <laughs> hey, they have played the. Uh, I love it when you call me Big Papa. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> that was great. Uh, Coach, I'm going to rock with in this division. I'm going to go with Jason Kidd. I can't say enough about what he's done to his Milwaukee team. Probably their top draft pick in Parker, who went down with an ACL injury last year. They won 26 more games than they did than the year before, and, and they ranked <laughs> eighth in opponents' points per game last year. Kid preached defense and looking forward to see what he can do this year with a healthy Parker. Uh, Kari Williams and a Greg Marone that's had a full training camp under their belts for him. Uh, Jason Kidd has done a wonderful job with the, uh, the Milwaukee Bucks. And I think this is a team. I know I know. I just talked about the Celtics going to take a little dip. I don't think the, the Bucks they, the Bucks get better. The kid, I, kid has done a good job wherever he's went, though. And he, he's done a very good job coaching wherever he's went. He's a, he's a, he's a, good, he's a good ball coach. And like you said, Hopefully everybody. Hopefully they get uh, him back and they stay healthy. 
and that's that's their key they got a real